What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and before this video starts, I just want to say huge thank you to every single one of you guys that watches, supports, likes, dislikes and comments on all of my videos because yesterday I hit 400,000 subscribers on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. So again, huge, huge thank you. It's taken less than four months to go from 300 to 400,000. So let's keep the momentum going. Let's bring it into the summer and who knows where we're gonna be by the end of 2016. Now let's kick the video off with this behind me the Velocity Cars AMG GTS I hope you guys enjoy hey guys welcome to supercars of London now before we start this video let's wind it back a couple of years and work out what defines a supercar it's got to have road presence it's got to have two seats it's usually Italian flamboyant design and a ludicrous exhaust system. Fast forward to the present day, I am back where I filmed Why Am I Selling the Lamborghini? I've done the Lamborghini dream and now it is time to test a new car that could potentially replace the Lamborghini. For my next supercar, I want rear wheel drive, I want comfort for the long distance road trips, I want road presence, but most importantly, I want lunacy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Mercedes-Benz AMG GTS Edition 1 that I have been lent by Velocity Cars. So huge thank you to Velocity Cars. Check them out in the link in the description below. They heard my plea about the Lamborghini replacement and offered for me to borrow this car and live with it for a couple of days. It is literally back to back to the McLaren 570S that I literally just borrowed and had a fantastic time with. So to drive another turbocharged car, this is a four litre by turbo, it's gonna be interesting to pit the two cars together. Having driven this car already for about 20 miles since picking it up from the driven leasing headquarters, this is a completely different beast. It feels like a muscle car. The long front end is seriously intimidating. So let's jump in and go over some of the things that I want in my next supercar and see if this is the perfect Lamborghini replacement. Okay, so stock. This car sounds absolutely incredible. Mercedes AMG cars are known for their incredible soundtrack. And usually the 6.2 naturally aspirated V8 that used to be in the SLS AMG and C63s sounds amazing. I was worried that this car was gonna have the same problem as the McLarens do with the turbocharged exhaust system. But thankfully, as stock systems go, this is pretty incredible. the next car is, is it easy to drive? Can you daily drive it? I found from the R8 as a daily driver, it was pretty good. But when I moved up to the Lamborghini, I felt that the car was probably a little bit too outrageous and a bit of it too crazy. Another thing that I have been told and warned about was the light steering that this car has on the car, which is perfect for around town and in the city. So when we are swinging through Lyon or whether I'm in London or down in Monaco in the town, it's gonna to be very, very easy to maneuver around. And just like that, pulling out of a T-junction, the Lamborghini being four wheel drive and some of the other competitors that are gonna be in replacement for the Gallardo, like the V10 Plus, like the Hurricane, they do have quite heavy, heavy steering. Let me mix up all my words today. But as cruisers go, as GT cars go, this car is up there with one of the best. I'm not sure whether it is an out and out supercar because for me, the McLaren 570 was exactly that. I thought that that car was incredible being a supercar, being a proper Hooner. Whereas this, 
it's so comfy, which I'm going to be getting onto in a bit, or maybe I've already talked about that in this video, I'm not sure how the edit is going to go, <laughs> but it is a wicked, wicked car, so the long miles are going to be very, very easy to do in this car, even with the AMG Sport Seats, I still feel comfortable that I can do some really long journeys in one day, in two days, and this could be the perfect road trip car. Now, if we're talking about practicality and luxury elements of a brand new super sports car, sports car, GT car, whatever you want to call this or whatever you want to call potentially my next car, is that on the Edition 1, you get a carbon fibre roof, which is amazing for the Edition 1. However, if I was to just get an AMG GTS slightly cheaper, you can have the option of the premium package, which comes with incredible surround sound system, but most importantly, a panoramic roof, which for long distance cruises, if you just wanna gaze up into the stars, or more actually, your passenger gaze up into the stars, or even the sun, just allowing more light into the car is perfect, because I think we're having a little problem with all of these trees about how dark the interior is for this video. So panoramic roof is something to think about and I know Sam is a massive fan of panoramic roofs since he got his F-Type so I don't know whether the Edition 1 would be the dream replacement or whether the GTS would be. Talking about technology, one of the best features in all of the Mercedes, although I kind of talked it down actually in the AMG A45 was all of the um, controls for performance and handling to tighten up the suspension, better steering response, better throttle response, slightly less traction, which in an AMG might not be what you want on a damp road, but it also opens up the exhaust valves. And here, I have got this mechanism, similar to what the Ferrari have on the Manatino here, or what Lamborghini now have on the steering wheel between Strada, Corsa, and the other mode. Down here, on the amazing centre console, I can choose between individual setting, which is exactly what it says it is. I can set the car up to exactly how I want. If I want soft suspension, but a loud exhaust system and a manual gearbox, I can do that on individual. Everything in this car is customizable to the individual settings. What we're gonna do now is test whether this car is a proper supercar. Does it have the supercar performance? So we're gonna put it in Sport Plus and go for a bit of a hoon, because one thing that's really important is I still want to have fun in the car. I'm not going to be cruising everywhere in it, so let's put it into manual. Oh. Oh. The torque, the power, and the rear-wheel drive combined. It's quite frightening, especially on a kind of slippery road. I can't really put my foot down, and I'm hoping tomorrow the weather's better for me to really enjoy this car. Oh, it just takes off. And you get awesome exhaust crackles. The steering becomes a lot more, just becomes better. Oh my God. And all of a sudden the intimidating front nose on this car just slowly reduces inside and you become a lot more confident behind the wheel of this car. Cruising around town, you do feel like you're steering a bit of a boat with the long front nose. You really don't know when it ends. Thank God it's got parking sensors, but as soon as you start putting your foot down and have a bit of fun, this turns into a nimble little sports car or supercar with the performance this car has. I'd say that it's a supercar performance. Wow, it is obviously not as quick as the 570S because this has got a lot more purpose to it around being a GT car, around being a daily car. The 570S, I think McLaren have just built that as an out and out mid-engine mid supercar. It possibly the most pointless part of testing whether this car is a worthy successor to the Lamborghini. Obviously, I wanna hear your guys' comments, so comment below whether you think the AMG GTS would be a good replacement to the Lambo, and don't forget all of the modification opportunities with this car, if you think that as a normal stock car, it might not have that supercar presence, with a nice body kit and a spoiler and exhaust system and a wrap it might, <laughs> but how big is the boot space? Because over the next two to three months, I'm gonna be using this car as the workhorse on road trips, I need a big boot space. The Lamborghini wasn't actually that bad. So what I've decided to do is come up with a bit of a an everyday test to see whether I can fit a food shop in the boot of this car. Oh. 
Right, let's go and get some food. Oh no, I need my wallet. Now let's go and get food. Okay, so food shop done. I've got some juice and a cream egg. Let's see whether it can fit in the boot. Wow. This is a huge boot. I'm pretty sure. Wow. Do you know what? I think I can get in this boot. I can definitely get in this boot, which I couldn't do in my Lambo. So this is a bigger boot. So there is my first impressions of the Velocita Cars AMG GTS Edition 1. And I have to say, I'm sort of falling in love with it. I wasn't so sure that I was going to, having only driven one AMG GTS at Southern Sky before, but having done some of the tests in this video, this is definitely, definitely a capable car. I cannot wait to pit it against the, the other cars that I haven't tested yet. R8 V10 Plus, Lamborghini Huracan, potentially the 458, and also an Aston Martin Vanquish. So please leave your comments in the comment box below. Hopefully I can continue bringing these videos of me testing cars that could potentially replace my Lamborghini. And and as this is the first time that I'm able to drive these cars before buying them, with the Audi R8 I wasn't allowed to drive it because I was too young, even on the Lamborghini I wasn't allowed to drive it because I was too young, so now for the first time I am able to drive all sorts of these cars because I've turned 25, I'm really sort of taking advantage of this and taking a long extended test drives on all of the cars so I make sure that I get the right car so that I can keep it longer than the six months that I bought the Lamborghini Gallardo for. So please give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and you love the AMG GTS and you want to see more of this on the Supercars of London YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon for some more content, probably about this because I've got it for an extra two days. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Cheers guys.